Jimmy, you've been to several clubs, obviously, before Chelsea. Yeah. And maybe you looked a little bit as though you'd never quite found your home. And the impression was when you came to Chelsea that you just looked at home straight away. Well, I, I had uh, four great years. Or oh, great. Uh, you know, uh, family-wise, you know, good, good years. Um, didn't expect that it that it would end after this fourth year, but uh, yeah, uh, Chelsea is a really club to my heart, and 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 uh, only got good memories of of, of Chelsea, and um, I will always follow them. How easy was it to settle when you came at Chelsea? Very easy. Um, mm, I must say uh, at that year. It was me, Ida, uh, Mario Stanic, all three together and, and, and helping each other and uh, it worked quite well. It was quite uh, um, quite easy actually. Uh, unfortunately, at that year, Fiali uh, uh, was, was sacked after a few games uh, and, and we had to start all over again with uh, Ranieri. But uh, for me to settle in, the fans were br brilliant to me and, and, and uh, yeah, I really liked it. And you won a medal and you scored a goal. Well, I, th I scored a goal. I won uh, the charity shield. Um, yeah, well, I, I, the, only, the only down point, what I can say in those four years, that, that we haven't won enough, you know, um, and def definitely not challenged enough. But you came to score goals and you did it from that first match. Well, you always look back and you always think, oh, I, I could have done better or I, I wanted to do better. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, especially in the, f in the first two years and of those first two years, the second year, I think I played my best football with Ida and, and up front. Uh, we were just uh, tremendous and... and uh, I was even nominated in, in best player of, of, of the Premiership, uh, uh, one of the six. So for me, that, that was a very big, big asset. You came, you settled, uh, you made a lot of friends straight away, didn't you, amongst yeah. the squad? Yeah, well, I, sp I played with, with a lot of really good players. Uh, Marcel they say. Uh, Gustavo Poyet, who I still speak to once in a while, Gianfranco Sola, who is tremendous, you know, uh, and uh, Frank Lampa, John Terry, who came through uh, from the youth, uh, Ida Good Johnson, uh, you can keep on going, you know, uh, played with a lot of good players, and, and to play with those players every day, to train. With those players, and and to see what what they are doing on the training pitch, you know, to learn, you you just get better yourself, you know. So uh, yeah, it, it was it was a nice time. You came, we thought, to help us win the league, yeah. but as you say, the team got turned around after five games in the league that season, and Claudio came in. How much of a shock was that team? Well, a big shock, because. Uh, Normally, if you are allowed to spend 15 million on one player, and and uh, seven play uh, seven million on another, and five, four million on on Ida Good Johnson, I would have thought that 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 your job was secure, you know. So I wouldn't think that uh, I wouldn't even it, it wouldn't even cross my mind to uh, to say uh, he's going to be sacked in 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 five weeks time, you know, so it was quite a big, big surprise. But Claudio took over in his first game, you scored arguably your best goal for the club at Manchester United. Well, not my, one of the best, <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, against Manchester United and, and uh, I think it will always stay in my memory, that goal. We never really challenged for the title in that first season, no. but in the penultimate game we went to Liverpool and we needed a point to keep it alive and you scored two goals.
Yeah. Actually, I forgot about that, uh, that, that game, actually. It was a strange game, wasn't it? I think first half was nil-nil. And uh, Mike Long got one. Mike Long is in. I got one. Hasselbeck. He saw the range. It's his sort of goal. And then he got another one. And uh, in the last 10 or 15 minutes, I got another one. Oh, Hasselbeck. It's Chicho. Hasselbeck. You played quite well. They were quite lucky, actually, to uh, get away with, with, with a point because we played quite well. Um, yeah, very important for the club. And then we went to Manchester City having to win the game to yeah. make certain of a UEFA Cup. That, yeah, I remember that game because it was the last game of the season and um, people already, already, um, already said to me, warned me that Jim, if it is two minutes to go, don't stay too far from the tunnel because everyone will be coming on the pitch. So uh, I knew that. So <laughs> a minute before, I saw already all the, the supporters going towards the pitch. And when, when the referee blew, everybody was running at us. And there it goes. Oh, and there's a crowd invasion. <laughs> and I thought like... Uh, all the players ran into the tunnel and, and everybody was happy to just have made it in, into the tunnel. So uh, I don't know the result anymore. <laughs> uh, that I, I remember of, of that game. So we qualified for the UEFA Cup, but it was that 20-goal figure. Kerry Dixon had done it in 1989-90 when he got 25 and no one had done it since. How aware were you of passing the 20-goal mark? I did quite quite well for my first year. Um, it's always uh, a little bit difficult to to settle in and 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 to uh, um, learn how your your teammates are are playing. But I did quite well, I think, goal wise. Um, it was a little bit disappointing team wise what we what we put down because sixth is not what we expected. I think all strikers know about how many goals they score, but if I was really focused of getting the 20, no, I just wanted to get as many as possible. And if it was 20, happy, but if it could be 30, even happier, or 31, you know what I mean? So, um, no, not, not, really, not really that focused.